Hi there, welcome to Email Logistics, and welcome to module number four of your Email Logistics Outlook add-in course, how to use the Email Logistics add-in. Users that are in an Email Logistics shared mailbox will have the ability to complete actions by using our Email Logistics add-in. These things are like availability, message options, writing notes, and checking on conversation details. A user can simply select a message in the inbox like I've done here, navigate to assign to and assign themselves or another user the message. Once I click on a user, I'm going to go ahead and click assign. That message is now assigned to Rick Grado and Rick will be able to work this message as he sees fit. Once Rick is ready to work the message, he can go ahead and reply to it. Or if you, Rick needs to write a note on the message, he can. So I'm going to go into the email logistics add in click on notes, and I'm going to draft up a note here. So Rick is going to go ahead and follow up with this client tomorrow at 8 a.m. Once Rick makes the note, this note will be visible for anybody working in this conversation. So if this message gets reassigned to another user, that user will be able to see the notes. Since Rick wishes to follow up with the client tomorrow at 8 a.m., Rick has a few options. Rick can archive the message and go back to that message and pull it back into his folder the next day. Or, to make it easy, Email Logistics gives you a snooze option. Rick can then hit snooze, snooze for an hour, four hours, until this afternoon, or until tomorrow morning, which would be 8 a.m., or you can choose a specific snooze time, a date and a time. In this example, I'm going to go ahead and snooze until tomorrow morning. Once I hit snooze, that message will then go into the snoozed folder. If we check the snooze folder here on the left side, we'll see that there is a message sitting in here and it is returning to Rick Grado Thursday, August 11th at 8 a.m. If Rick would like to have this message back in his folder prior to this time, you can then click on the message in the snooze folder and click unsnooze. Once the message is unsnoozed, it will be placed back into the user's folder that originally snoozed it. Once a message is moved to a user's folder and they select it, they will have some conversation details tied to that message. Things like conversation ID number, when the conversation started, current state of the conversation, current owner of the conversation, oldest open message, average reply time, and how many messages were in and out in that conversation. Users also have the option to get an in-depth view on what's been going on in this conversation by clicking view history. Once a user clicks view history, our Email Logistics conversation history will populate directly in Outlook for you and show you everything that's happened within this conversation. When the first message was received, who it was assigned to, how the assignment took place. So we can see this message was assigned to Rick by Rick with the add-in. If a note was added to the conversation, when a conversation was snoozed, unsnoozed, and then reassigned back to the user. This can be filtered by received, by assigned, by notes, and any other actions that are performed in this conversation. If you wish to open up a message in this conversation, a user can simply click on the message and we will populate it in Outlook on the web. If you haven't logged into Outlook on the web before, you will be asked to log in just like I was here. Using the add-in is extremely important for users as this is what's going to 100% define what happens to messages in email logistics. You don't want users to have to use drag and drop as they might drag and drop a message onto the wrong folder. Additionally, when the add-in is used and a message is assigned to another agent, that agent, like Zach here, can then click on the message and find out who assigned him the message using our conversation details and how that message was assigned to him, at what time it was assigned to him. All those great things happen when you're using the email logistics add-in. If you have any questions regarding the email logistics add-in, you can always reach out to our support team by emailing support at emailgistics.com. Thank you very much for joining me on module number four of your email logistics outlook add-in course, and I'll see you on the next one.